for this video because there's gonna be a lot of juicy questions so I went on a few weeks ago and I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some questions for my Q&A video like I explained in my previous video there has been a lot going on in my life so that's why it's taking me a while to film this video but today is the day I'm super excited about doing this Q&A I haven't done one in a while and I like the idea of you guys getting to know me a little bit better so yeah Let's go ahead and get started on the video. Let's go. All right, I got it right here on my phone. Let's start. Do you smoke? Smoke what? Nah, just kidding. I don't smoke anything anyways. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke weed. I don't smoke no drugs. Nothing. Are you on the pill? Talk about TMI. No, I am not on the pill. I have never been on the pill. Since you are so interested in my sexual life. Um, no, I do not. I'm not on the pill. I actually do the Cradence model. Um, what it is, it's kind of like a very, very detailed um way of tracking your cycle so that way you know what days you are fertile um so, so that way if you do not want to have a child then of course you avoid intercourse during those days that's what i do and that's what i have been doing for around three four years but yeah what would you do if you want a lot 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 of money and the oh in the lottery i have re i have already like role played in my mind what i would do <laughs> first thing is of course i would pay off all our debt pay off our mortgage pay off our cars our credit cards all of that shenanigans that nobody likes and then um would have a nice family vacation vacation like with my parents, my siblings, my nieces, my nephews, and and to be a little bit more detailed, I would have like a Disney vacation. We are a Disney family, so I would like to stay like in Disney Resort, uh, and everybody together. Of course, there's bigger plans and more plans, but those are like the stuff that I would like immediately do. Would you ever date me again? Because I am married. I do not believe in divorce. So, no. Were your parents strict when you were young? Love you. Much love from New York. Love you too. I would say no. Um, because I was pretty much like a normal child. I wasn't like crazy or it's not like I wanted to go out and party well let me just say like this I wasn't like the type of child where my parents had to be strict with me I never gave my parents a reason to not trust me or a reason to um, be strict with me so no you have mentioned that you do not like resolutions but do you like but do you oh shit start over. You have mentioned that you do not like resolutions, but do you have like a big goal this year that's like your biggest focus? Your biggest goal for this year is just pure health. I'm not meaning this like, oh, I want to lose 20, 40 feet pounds. I'm just talking about like whole, my whole health. I want it to be 100. I talk about emotional health, mental health. Um, I would like to kind of try to balance my hormones on my own with like diet, dietary restrictions and stuff like that, which I have actually already started. 
I started doing keto about six days and I have already noticed a big difference and like I said I didn't do it for like oh I want to lose weight even though it would be nice to lose weight I did it more because I want to try to balance my hormones a big plus is in six days I have already lost 10 pounds but yeah that's one of my biggest goals this year it's all about wellness what's the name of your favorite restaurant Choice, 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 Tex Mex restaurant. If you guys follow me on Instagram, did you guys already know this? But yeah, my favorite restaurant is Choice Tex Mex restaurant. Who is your celebrity crush? I think it changes, it changes constantly. Probably be um, Adam Levine or Tyga. I'm in a long distance relationship and it's starting to get really hard. Do you have any advice for me? Have you ever been in a long distance relationship? So yeah, I have been in a long distance relationship, but this was like a, a long, long time ago. And I get you, I know that it's super, super hard to be in a long distance relationship. Ours kind of failed because... I was young, he was young, we are both kind of like immature. Um, during the time, of course, we weren't like, oh yes, I want to marry you and this and that. Those were not our plans because like I said, we were young. So um, for us, it was something like real. But I really never told anybody about our relationship because we were so far away from each other that I thought like this is never going to happen. So my family and my parents never knew about it. And I think that's kind of where, like me personally, I messed up because maybe if I would have told my parents that I had that I was like in a serious long distance relationship, then maybe things would have been different. Maybe my parents would have been like, yeah, he can come visit or you can go visit for a few days. Um, I don't know. I don't know what would have happened. Shit, I'm the wrong person to ask for advice in these things. If I put myself in your situation right now, if you really, really love that person, then, you know, you have to try to make it work. There has to be some trust and you have to give not 50% into the relationship, but 100, 100, because it makes it harder when you're far away. You can't see each other. And I think it's a little bit different nowadays because now there's so much technology where you get like Skype or FaceTime. I think that helps the relationship a little bit better because at least you're able to see each other girl i am so sorry i am horrible <laughs> at giving advice on this how tall are you i am five four have you ever been arrested never been arrested i have never been pulled over and i have never had a ticket knock on wood because yeah I would probably freaking freak out if I ever got pulled over by the cops. Oh my God, if I ever get pulled over, I am going to start crying right away. And I'm probably going to be like, can I please call my mom? Because that's how freaked out I will be. Those were all the questions you guys had for me. And I want to say thank you guys so much for sending in some questions. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys got to know me a little bit better. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.